Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So, um, I still had a couple of issues with the Quad 405. There was like a crackling coming from, uh, crackle, like a crackle noise coming from the left hand channel. Um, after Deco Audio looked at it twice, they said there was nothing wrong with it and it must be something else to do with my other equipment, but it's nothing to do with that. So anyway, so I've dismantled it. Now this is the one of the boards out of it now as you can see the uh, transistors are made by samken and the electrolytics capacitors are nitikon upems now i'm going to replace these <clears throat> with some uh, some of these which is the same but um this is a newer Nichicon, same value. Um, so these are going to be changed. Now these are slightly taller, fractionally taller. I've measured it and they still go in the case. So there's about four mil, I think, spare before it hits the side of the cabinet, which is fine. And all of those four capacitors there will all be changed as well so i've got a stack of them all they're all the same value um <clears throat> so what i what i'm doing is i'm rewiring the whole the whole insides <clears throat> so i've already started making up some of the wires so these are all very strand they're made from uh, 10 percent silver cladded copper put some new spade connectors on soldered them all the all the wires in than crimping them don't really like crimping so soldering is better now these are the two rcas so i put two new these are pure copper um, rca plugs so here we have the uh you can see it there so this wire i've made up this this interconnect cable has been triple shielded so I've been getting a slight hum going on as well. So what I've noticed at the back here in from the IEC plug is um, the earth wire from the IEC was connected to the to the the ground on the or the earth on the RCA plug, which I weren't happy with. So I'm going to earth it individually off onto the casing. So I may have to, uh, I'll either, so they're, they're, they've, um, if you can see there, there's loads of earth wires going into a screw at the back there. But there is, there are some other holes there, which are there, which I'm going to put a bolt into. And, and, and this piece there, I'm going to make a special connector there. Um, so all of the... Uh, the earth wires can be earthed to that opposed to just onto that screw there. Um, so, and then these are, these are the, uh, the earth on the speaker cable, the in at the inside. So we've got the, uh, I'm twisting my words now because I've just come back from the football and my team was winning 3-2 and we drew it. 3-3 three, three in the dying seconds which was really annoying so um but i thought i'd come back and crack on with a video so these are going to be soldered onto here and then these also go over to there as well which will be connected to a special fit fitment i should say or socket i'm going to produce to go onto there and then these these also these smaller ones these come from here and they they go into here these spade connectors just fit into there like so so and all of the rest of this wiring is all going this all of this um, i'm redoing it but i've got to do it uh, stage by stage at the moment it's just time so i just wanted to show you this video um so these boards are actually manufactured i can show you there you can see it there lucid designs limited so i know the i know that uh 
these boards, the actual circuit board itself, are manufactured in um, in China, where they would be. But I found a little bit more information about this um, this Lucid Designs Limited. It's taken ages. I've had to scout the internet and ask questions all over the place. And uh, so they say they assembled all the parts in this country. And they can't. That they, they were based in Middlesbrough originally, before they well they were based in Middlesbrough, and then obviously they've uh, ceased trading now. But all these parts were assembled onto the circuit boards up in Middlesbrough. So whether that's true, but that's what I've been told. So um, and it was from a trusted source. So um, so these these. Uh, Nichicon, these are Japanese capacitors, electrolytics. So it should be interesting to see the difference. Um, so that's that. I've got some other pieces as well. So these um, these relays in there that uh, Deco Audio fitted for me, I've got some other ones to go in there. They, they look smaller, but they do fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get most of the wiring done. And then I shall show you me making up a part of the wiring to so show you how to do it. And then I'll be fitting it all up on a video. And I'll also be showing you how to solder in the uh, the capacitors and the other parts. So um, I hope you like this. It's going to be interesting because uh, the wire that I'm putting into this is far better. I mean, the wire that's come out of this, this wire here. It's just PVC insulated and I don't even think it's oxygen free copper. It's just basic copper, which is really poor really to put inside an amp like this. So uh, by me putting all this in there, it's going to really it should really give me a sonic boost. I'm hoping so it's going to be rather interesting. Um, what else can I say about it? I think that's about it really. But as you can see, it's very compact in there. And I, I phoned uh, another few companies up. So one of them called Amp Labs. And he said, can you send me some photographs of it? So I sent him some photographs and he didn't want to touch it. He said it was so rammed in and crammed in that he didn't want to touch it. He'd never seen a, uh, a quad 405 so compact as this. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting project. As I say, this amp does sound really nice. But the problem is I've got this very, very slight hum going on. And I've also got this crackling that, that that's on the left-hand channel. But it's not there all the time. What happens is, is you turn it on and the crackling's there. Then you have to keep on messing about with a switch. And then it goes. Now, it could be a switch problem there as well. Which I don't think it is because it's just coming out of the, um, the left-hand channel. So uh, if anybody's got any, any ideas on it, just let me know. Um, if you're interested in uh, working, you know, giving me some uh, some idea of what you think it is. But what I'm going to do is, I'll, it could be one of these capacitors that's faulty. And uh, that's why I'm going to change them. So we'll see how it goes anyway. But I think that's about it for this video. So all I've got to say is, uh, thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel... Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And thank you for watching, guys.